Hello guys and welcome back to episode 3 of the CorelDRAW Basics. So today we are going to talk about the pen tool. So you must be saying, um, in my previous um, video I said about that most of us designers, whether you are using Illustrator or CorelDRAW, I think most of us are using the pen tool wrongly. So, like a few months ago, I was using the normal pen tool, like the normal way, like all of us use it. So, when I stumbled upon this guy on lynda.com, his name is um, Vagalistic, <laughs> I can't pronounce it. So, I got his, um, his something from Linda. I watched his video, his logo videos, tutorials from Linda, and I learned a lot. So, so I noticed something that he used his pen tool in a different way, and it was so easy. But at first, it was difficult for me to to. So let me show you the normal way I use the pen tool, and and the normal way you, you use the pen tool. Okay, now, like let's say, um, now. Okay, now let's say I don't know whether maybe you can use this way or the main way. So this is normal way I use the pen tool. So as you can see, I'm still struggling on how to make it work first. So, I think this is the normal way I use the pen tool, and I think this way is kind of it's kind of fast. It's fast, yes, but it won't give you accurate um, drawing. So now let me show you the way I learned from this guy. So, first of all, we are going to click on the pen tool, and then. We are going to click this point and then we are going to click this point. So then this point and then this point. Then we click this point and this point. So this is just the way he uses the pen tool. And it was so fun. And so enjoyable to watch. So now let's stop here and let me explain why I'm drawing my own pencil like this. Now let's fade this image. Mm -hmm. So now, as you can see, yeah, you might you might be thinking that um, what am I doing? What am I doing? Why am I drawing my lines like this? Yes. Because I want to use the shape tool to make it accurate. You can use the pen tool like that from here. Maybe it's your way. But I think this process is kind of slow. But I think it will give you the best results that you want. So once you click on the shape tool. And this process can work in Korea them in Illustrator. They have a separate tool like this. And the pen tool works there. I'm going to teach you guys also in Illustrator, but that will be in, in a later time. So now we click on the shape to now we click on the line. Now we convert the line, convert the line to curve. Now you see. Now you can easily adjust the line to your choice. Let me make this line thicker. Okay, so now this part now you convert this part to curve. Sorry, convert it to curve. Now, this line you convert it to curve. Now, yeah. Click on the line, the convert your curve, and then you adjust the line. So, 
this might be another way to use the pen tool but I prefer this way than the other way but this way is kind of slow because you draw the line then start adjusting line but this normal way you can just draw 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 and just click but this way is kind of stressful and it's time consuming but it will give you the best result that you want so now if you zoom in here and you, you know that this place is not smooth then the easiest thing to do click it then click on smooth now you watch what happened let's undo sorry sorry okay now oh click the wrong tool okay now let's undo and redo now you see the difference so now you click here and it's smooth also now as you can look at here this place is not smooth so we need to smooth in you click here and click on smooth now if you look at the line now the line is smooth now you can also adjust it to like I say this kind of time consuming but this will give you the best results that you want so now let's let's use our normal pen to style or let's uh, let's say um, the other pen to style and draw this shape now you can as you can see let's make the line thicker let's add it the color now we just delete this one can give you accurate accuracy but it won't it won't be be like this other one it won't be that much accurate than this other one so but me i believe that this one's waste my time more than this other one so now let's use the other method now this is what we're going to do click on the pen we we'll click this points and we we'll click this point now we we'll click this point i'll we'll click this point and i'll we'll click this point now let's give you line some thickness and give it a different color now let's fade this guy okay now now we sh click switch on this shape tool uh, then we we'll convert this line to curve now we'll click and drag I see accurate you click here and you click convert to curve then you click and drag as you see how it's going very very accurate click here convert the curve you click on drag <coughs> yeah so you have learned how to use two methods in pen to either use this way or you can use this way and use the shape to to adjust it more so you can either use any of them as comfortable for you but I believe that this one is the best because it will give you more time and you can really adjust it very well. But any one that is good for you, you can still use the board. So I believe that this is the right way to use the pen tool. Because the pen tool you need to work with your shape tool, whether it's illustrator or whether it's corridor. So if you are doing the old method, you still try it. If you are if you want to try the new method you can try it out and then you compare the difference okay now so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and check us out in instagram at free 
online tutorials.cc. So, have a lovely day and bye bye.